Here we have the Logitech MX Keys, which is a more premium keyboard designed for productivity. Needing a specialty keyboard for gaming is understandable, but do you really need a $100 keyboard for work? In this video, we're going to be going over key features, seeing who this product would actually be good for, how it compares to the competition, and whether it's worth your hard-earned money. On this channel, we're all about simplifying reviews and finding out what actually matters. We're here to let you know if products are actually any good and actually worth buying. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and let's get into the video. Logitech is well known for producing some great peripherals for your computer, including top-notch mice, headsets, computer speakers, and a variety of keyboards for PC and tablets. So when they put out a high-end wireless keyboard that's specifically designed to boost productivity, it's certainly worth a look. So what makes the Logitech MX Keys so special? For starters, you'll find it's built on a single metal plate, making it extremely durable and extremely heavy. This weight makes the Logitech MX Keys more ideal for permanent desktop use rather than a portable keyboard for your mobile device. Despite its slim design, the brushed aluminum body and thin lowercase sans serif keytop legends gives it a nice modern look. Logitech MX Keys is a full-size keyboard with 108 keys, including a number pad and a dozen function keys that double as multimedia controls. It's very low profile, so if you're a fan of that flat laptop-style keyboard, you'll love the typing experience. There's minimal key travel, but you do miss out on the tactile feedback. In fact, Logitech refers to their low-profile membrane keys as laptop typing, with each of the keys having a circular indentation in the middle. We found this makes the Logitech MX keys feel a little more receptive and comfortable to type on. However, if you're more used to higher profile keyboards with your wrists in a more natural position, you may find the MX keys uncomfortable with extended use. Logitech also offers a memory foam wrist rest for those wanting a more ergonomic wrist position. The wrist rest does cost extra, and we did feel that it should have been included as an out-of-the-box feature given the premium pricing for the standard keyboard. Now, when it comes to features, Logitech did add some cool stuff. You can either connect the keyboard via Bluetooth or by using the included 2.4 GHz USB receiver. We didn't perceive any noticeable lag, which will benefit gamers. Being wireless, the MX Keys also lets you sync up with up to three different devices on different wireless channels. You'll find three keys on the right side of the board, which let you conveniently switch between devices. So, if you use two PCs or want to pair the keyboard with your iOS or Android devices, you'll be able to seamlessly switch back and forth. Probably the coolest feature is the proximity sensors. You'll find the keys illuminate when your hands approach the keyboard, and then also fade when you move them away. It may seem a little gimmicky, but it helps with battery performance, which can last up to 10 days. We also found the Logitech's option software to be quite useful. We could remap all the function and media keys with various shortcuts, which goes towards improving productivity, especially if you're a power user. So what's the verdict? Well, if you like typing on low-profile laptop-style keyboards, you'll probably really like the MX keys. If you're more concerned about ergonomics and don't want to spring for the wrist pad, you may experience some discomfort over the long run. Overall, the MX Keys has a lot going for it. The keyboard itself looks and feels great and is built with extreme durability. It's got great connectivity options, and the fact that you can sync up to three devices is definitely a big bonus. The battery performance is impressive, and it's got some great features for those that demand a little more than the basics from their peripherals. That's all for this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you like what we do, consider subscribing. On this channel, we review tech in a simple, straightforward manner for the average person. So if you want tech reviews made easy, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing. Till next time, hope you all have a great day.